Testing requirements relax for fully vaccinated nursing home staff and residents, and long-term care provider fined a record $27,000 for a frontline staff member's pandemic-related death. This and more, next. You're watching LTC News with Dane Henning. Welcome to CNA TV Long-Term Care News. I'm Dane Henning. Today is Wednesday, April 28th, 2021. To stay in all of Long-Term Care News, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, if you are a CNA, consider becoming a NACA member for only $30 a year. You can enroll quickly on our website at NACACNA.org. Fully vaccinated nursing home frontline and other healthcare personnel who are asymptomatic can be exempt from expanded testing under new recommendations unveiled Tuesday by the CDC. Testing requirements for fully vaccinated nursing home residents also have been eased according to the new guidance. CDC is recommending that vaccinated staff who are either symptomatic or in close contact with a person who has the virus still have a series of two viral tests for the disease with testing being recommended immediately and again five to seven days after exposure. Unvaccinated staff also should continue to submit regular testing according to the guidance. CMS followed the CDC's lead by issuing a memo late on Tuesday solidifying the revised testing requirements for long-term care. The relaxation of testing is expected to help ease some of the burden on providers who've done a lot of routine testing, quote, which takes time and resources, according to Amy Stewart, Vice President of Education and Certification Strategy for the American Association of Directors of Nursing Services, AADNS. She continued, this could provide added incentive for additional staff to get vaccinated, fewer testing, she said on Tuesday. Many staff report that while they understand the need for all of the testing, they are tired of having to go through it. Testing recommendations for nursing home staff in the wake of an outbreak remain unchanged regardless of vaccination status. The death of a frontline staff member led the Minnesota Department of Labor and Industry to levy a $27,100 fine for workplace safety violations on the man's former long-term care employer. The Shalom Community Alliance, a 154-bed facility in St. Louis Park, Minnesota, was hit with a $25,000 fine for failing to establish and maintain a respiratory protection program. State auditors said that caused or contributed to the death of a caregiver that worked in its memory care unit. As part of a settlement with the state, the provider was also issued a $2,100 fine for failing to report a workplace-related fatality. The overall penalty is the largest COVID-related fine in state history. A resident in the unit where the caregiver was working first tested positive for COVID-19 on April 10, 2020. About 15 days later, the facility supplied an N95 mask to the staff member. He tested positive for COVID-19 later that same week. Shalom did not give the caregiver proper training on the equipment, according to the report. This has been your long-term care news update. Everyone have a wonderful week, and I'll see you on Wednesday.